Oklahoma once had hundreds of one-room schoolhouses across the state. One of those was located about three miles south of Hober, Oklahoma, at Bab Switch, a little area that got its name from the railroad that passed through there. On December 24, 1924, it was the annual Christmas party and celebration at the Bab Switch School. It was below freezing and there was a light snow on the ground. The teacher, Mrs. Florence Hill, greeted her pupils and parents as they arrived at the Christmas program. The school had been freshly painted white and the tree was trimmed in red and green candles giving a warming glow to the room that contrasted with the cold night. The little school was packed with people and there was standing room only. Around 200 people were inside, including little kids who went to the school there, parents, grandparents, uncles, and aunts. The school had been freshly refinished. About a year earlier, the school had been hit by a storm. It now had new windows and doors. When they refinished the school, the paint was oil-based and the windows had been covered in a steel wire mesh and bolted to prevent damage from future storms. There was only one set of new doors and they were in the back of the building and they opened to the inside only. The evening went as planned and when the Christmas program was finished, Santa Claus, played by 15-year-old student Dal Bolding, made a special appearance. Santa started passing out gifts and presents and when he reached into his sleeve to pull out another gift, he accidentally bent a dry limb into one of the real lit candles on the tree. The tree instantly caught on fire, and Bolding grabbed one of the curtains from the window and tried to smother the fire. The tree then fell over, and the fire really picked up at this point. Within seconds, the fire spread to the school, which became overwhelmingly engulfed in smoke and fire. People started panicking and rushed towards the single entrance of the building, but since the doors opened inwards, they all were caught inside trying to push outwards. Many of the people trying to make their way towards the exit were trampled. No one could get out of the windows because of the heavy steel wire mesh that had been bolted over them. Eventually the doors were able to be open and about 150 people poured out of the building. Others went back inside to pull others that had been badly burned. About 40 people were injured from the fire and 36 perished inside the tiny school. The fire burned with such intensity that it continued to burn throughout the night. The following day, which was Christmas Day, the identification process started, which was incredibly difficult. The teacher, Florence Hill, was found cradled near some of her students, offering protection. Dow Bolding, who played Santa, was also killed in the fire. Whole families were completely wiped out, and some were found dead, huddled together for safety and comfort. Most of the victims were identified by jewelry or other items that had not been burned up in the fire. 20 of the victims were buried in a mass grave inside Hobart Rose Cemetery. The other victims were buried inside of family plots. This horrific tragedy made national news across the United States. It also changed some things inside schools in Oklahoma. The first being that no lit candles could be used on live trees. Another outcome of the fire was the Oklahoma Fire Prevention Association started doing regular inspections of all school buildings in Oklahoma. They wanted to ensure that the buildings were safer for both children and adults in case of another fire like this. The inspections found bad conditions in dozens of schools in rural and city schools across the state. Laws were enacted in Oklahoma that required doors that had to be open outward from the inside of the school building. They also recommended that these wire mesh screens be removed from the schools completely or that they were easily removed from the inside in case of an emergency. For years, people could be seen around Hobart, Oklahoma with burn scars from the fire. Kiowa County has never forgotten about this horrible disaster that happened on Christmas Eve, 1924. Today, it remains as a sixth worst school fire in United States history. Now we are at the site of the Bab Switch tragic school fire that took place on December 24th, 1924. And uh, it says on December 24th, 1924, 35 people lost their lives while attending a Christmas party in a one-room frame schoolhouse. The fire was started by a candle on a Christmas tree. The school building was built here as a memorial and a model to point the way towards safer county schools the nation over. The school was discontinued in 1943 and was dismantled and sold. And then of course we have a listing of all the names 
who perished that horrible day on Christmas Eve. And down there it just says Babs Memorial School 1925. So this is the site area of the original school, the Bab Switch School, as well as the school that was built here afterwards. There are a few words on the back side. It just says that this is uh, in the year 1966. This memorial was sponsored by the Community Welfare and Rainy Mountain Extension Homemakers Clubs and Roosevelt Garden Club. And then it lists the uh, the granite Oklahoma uh, company that quarried this granite here and it's the Willis Monument Company right over there in the background is the quartz mountains is what they call it that's where these rocks come from the this granite comes from and this color granite is uh, really pretty in those mountains over there as you get close a lot of artists like painting it and stuff like that it switches colors during the day whether it's morning, middle of the day, evening, different times of the years, reflects different colors. But that, that uh, is why you see these nice big monuments here in this area. There's a lot of them down through here. But what a sad and tragic story that happened right here on December 24th, 1924. This is very much how it would have been a rural area in Bab Switch. We are now in the Hobart Rose Cemetery and there are several entrances all along the front of the cemetery. The best thing I can tell you is look for this main entrance or what seems to be the main entrance because there's an arch over the top stating the name of the cemetery. And just as you come in to your right where it says section 61 on this PVC pipe marker You'll see this memorial right here. This is the mass grave area where they buried a lot of who perished here in the Bab Switch Fire school disaster on December 24th, 1924. As you can see here on the large marker, that thing is probably, I don't know, 12 feet tall? It's pretty tall. But it was at a Christmas tree celebration where 36 people lost their lives. And there's nothing on the back side of it, but what an impressive marker that's here in this cemetery. And you can see the entrance to the cemetery right there, the main entrance. The other entrances, there's no arch over it. So this is very easy to find. One of the largest markers in the cemetery. And you can also see a border all around where these mass graves are. So there could be some here on the end that don't have a marker. I'm sure it is uh, double wide here. All of these are going to have the death date as 1924, of course. But I thought we would read the birth date and just kind of show the markers and show how young some of these were here. Ernst Peterson, 1909, William Biggers, 1915, Walter Biggers, 1909, John Hebensperger, 1914, Edna Curtis, 1915, Francis Curtis, 1917, Mrs. W.T. Curtis, 1892, W.T. Curtis, 1869. Edward Boulding, 1916. Dow Boulding, 1908. Maggie Boulding, 1911. John Duke, 1903. Mrs. Rhoda Bradshaw, 1887. Maddie Mae Bryan, 1914. Orly Coffee, 1919. Mahdi Coffee, 1907. Ethel Coffee, 1912. TC Coffee, 1861. Mrs. TC Coffee, 1876. And AM Coffee, 1898. 